Hey YouTube, uh, I thought I'd do my first um, indoor grow room uh, video for everyone. Uh, I've learned a lot of great stuff from uh, the YouTube community on uh, you know gardening inside and out. So I thought I'd uh, put my own video up. Anyway, so I'll go over what I what I got set up here, and and then uh, we'll take it from there. So um, right now it's probably a good minus ten outside. So. Um, Months ago, once my outside garden ended up, uh, closed up uh, for the year, uh, probably in January, I started um, thinking of maybe setting up an, an, an indoor setup. So what I did was um, I got uh, one of these lights right here. It's, this is a digital ballast, uh, 400 watt metal highlight um, HPS uh, system. I got it for about a hundred bucks uh, used, hardly ever used, so it was a good deal for a hundred bucks for, for both. Right now I got the metal highlight in just because um, I wanted to compare the difference in the growth. Um, I had the HPS light in for a couple months or a month and a half probably since um, um, this pepper plant here um, started producing flowers or started producing flowers and um, peppers. So this pepper plant is it's a mini sweet pepper plant. Um, it uh, started from seed. I actually uh, took the seed out from um, a pepper from the supermarket and dried it out and then I planted it and here it is. Um, as you can see it's, uh, it's got lots. I've probably harvested 20 or 30 um, peppers this size. They turn orange when they're ready. Um, but they produce quite well. Um, especially under the HPS light and um, so yeah it's been probably producing for about a month now um, so anyways it, it was I had the HPS lighting because I've read that um, HPS is better um, once the flowers show or in flowering mode anyway so let me just go over the, the couple different areas I have here um, I just planted these are uh, two different strains of determinate um, hybrid tomatoes that I got from Johnny Seeds. I forgot their name right now, um, but I planted those seeds a couple weeks back, and now I have them going in a little hydroponic unit that I made out of a styrofoam container, as you can see. So I'll just take this off here. You can see the water bubbling in there pretty good. I have. Um, Inside, I have the pH uh, set to about 5.8, uh, and then I'm gonna. My plan is to maybe, you know, check it every couple days, but not try to adjust it too much. I am using um, Maxi Grow General Hydroponics uh, for all my um, grow or hydroponic uh, needs right now. I was used to I used to use a local brand for what, when I was growing outside, but I decided to switch to the um, the granular version. So anyways, I got a lettuce uh, starting here. This is a Levinta lettuce. It's a, some specialty lettuce that I got from Johnny Seeds. And these are uh, these are just toma little tomato plants going. Um, this is my only uh, soil setup inside this little grow room I have. It is uh, cilantro. So I just put some dirt down um, I think I started this in seed uh, February 28th, so we're, it's been about, you know, just over two weeks, and we got good growth. Um, I water it every uh, couple days, and got it pretty close to the light, as you can see. Not too close, but it's producing, so we'll see uh, how it goes once, it, you know, once the, the, the bigger curved leaves starts producing, so you can see some small ones there. They start coming out. Then I'll go to my uh, main DWC uh, bucket that I have here. I have a couple other growing in dirt here. Uh, this is a this is a cucumber. Uh, I have a couple of cucumber seedlings that I ran out of space, so I thought I'd put them in dirt and just let them see if they can, you know, grow in there for you know a month or two before I uh, need to bring them outside. I have another tomato plant going over here. This is from seed also. Uh, but this is my main DWC bucket. 
So I got arugula right here. All, everything started from seed, so uh, the arugula is growing really strong. So I've picked a bunch of leaves off it already. Kale, it's going pretty good. I'm just it, it's a slow grower, so um, it's still growing. We're getting a, new, a couple new little shoots down there. And then here I have Grand Rapids lettuce. This thing's huge. Um, it's been probably 30 days. It's almost ready to harvest. Uh, I had these two other Grand Rapids lettuce and they're not doing too well. They're really small. I should have pulled them out earlier, but I didn't bother. Anyways, I'll probably be, uh, we'll probably let this go another week. Because I have, a, I have another uh, hydroponic uh, area that I, I'm growing a couple different heads of lettuce also. I'll do a separate video on, on that section. I, I'm growing that in an arrow garden. And I have like uh, another little DWC bucket here. This is another mixed green, mixed leaf lettuce. Um, growing really well. Uh, no complaints on this. I've, this is still on the original water. I've changed the water once on, on this unit. Let me see if I can quickly bring up the lid for you guys. So we got pretty white going on there. White, healthy. Water's getting a little low. I'm going to probably have to do a, a new change uh, soon, maybe next week. I'm trying to stretch it out as much as I can, especially when they're growing well. I don't see... Um, I had some experience where in the past where I did a new change and it screws up everything. I don't know why. Maybe there was some bacteria in my water at that time. I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm going to probably let this go for another week before I do any new change on this... Uh, on this uh, bucket. I'll probably at that time I'll harvest this lettuce, let these two guys go. Uh, if these guys don't perk up a bit, I'll probably ditch those and uh, plant some new ones. I also have a little crack key met method um, lettuce going here. Uh, I've watched so many videos on it, I thought I'd try one without um, without the air stone and, uh, and air to the thing. So right now it's just sitting in water. We'll see how it goes. It's, I've only put that in, I just put that seedling in, the, in there yesterday. Temperature in here, when lights are on, is around 20. The humidity's kind of low. So I'm, that's why I have um, some humidity domes that I kind of switch around. It's just a little unit like that that I switch around just to, to see if it helps the, the plants grow at all. Anyways, I have some seedlings there that look like they're drying out that I have to water. Um, what else do I got? That's about it for now. Anyways, uh, thanks everyone um, for watching, and I'll post another video in a, in a couple weeks uh, showing, I guess, the progress. Take care.